Late model cars under 20,000 in 2023 are becoming a rare commodity. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, a 14-year veteran to helping car buyers here on YouTube. I'm joined today by the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We've also got a car buying assistance update for you today. We'll hit it at the end. Liz, prices of 20,000 or less on one to five year old cars are becoming more difficult to come by in 2023 as compared to 2019 in an iccars.com study. Unfortunately, as reported by Automotive News, it appears that used car shoppers who want to purchase a late model vehicle for under 20,000 will need a time machine. <laughs> Four years ago, sub 20,000 cars made up nearly half of the options in the pool of one to five year old used inventory. These vehicles now make up a scant 12%, according to a used vehicle pricing study published this month. It is evidence of the scale at which used vehicle values appreciated over the last few years as the scarcity of new cars drove more consumers into the used car market. ICcars.com executive analyst Carl Brower said, The surge in demand pushed up prices big time, Brower told Automotive News. ICcars.com, a vehicle search engine and data research company, found the average price of a one to five year old vehicle jumped 48% to 34,491 in 2023, up from 23,351 in 2019. The company said its study analyzed more than 10.8 million one to five year old vehicles sold between January and July of 2019 and compared to January through July of 2023. The more popular picks are up even more. The study also found that prices of three best-selling one to five year old models rose more than that average over the four year period. For instance, the average price of a used Ram 1500 is 42,881 in 2023, up 57% from 27,324 in 2019, according to IC Cars. The average price of a used Toyota Corolla rose 50% to 21,308, while the average price of a Toyota Camry rose 49% to 25,537. Other mainstream late model cars that no longer average less than 20,000 include the Honda Accord and Honda Civic, the Hyundai Tucson, and the Nissan Rogue. Some models saw more drastic price appreciations because consumers had more confidence in them, Brower said. Buyers realized if they were going to pay more for any used vehicles, it would be for one they had a lot of faith in, for both its near-term practicality and its long-term reliability and quality. Well, that makes sense. Not only are used car prices higher for late model vehicles, but that inventory is returning to market with higher odometer readings, Brower said. The study found one to five year old vehicles priced at 20,000 or less had an average mileage of 63,457 in 2023, up nearly 46% from 43,541 miles in 2019. Certain price categories had even higher average mileage gains. Used vehicles priced up from 10,000 had an average mileage of 116,158 miles in 2023, an increase of 61% from 72,205 in 2019. Similarly, the average mileage of used cars priced between 10,000 and 15,000 rose to 84,710 miles, up from 47,886. That's 77% increase. The average mileage of used vehicles priced a little higher, those in the 15 to 20,000 range, rose to 60,257 miles from 37,032, up 63%. That indicates consumers are retaining their cars for longer periods and accumulating more miles on them because they either can't afford or don't wish to pay higher new and used vehicle costs. The pricing study also revealed that affordable used vehicle sales fell in the top 50 major metropolitan areas by population. For those of you on the East Coast, in Boston and the Manchester, New Hampshire area, share of sales of sub $20,000 used cars was 47% in 2019. In 2023, that share is much smaller, 8.2%. A huge drop. Very big. The area has seen the biggest fall in share of sales of sub-20,000 vehicles, while Oklahoma City's share, 48% in 2019 and 16% in 2023, fell the least. The second largest share decline occurred in Austin, Texas, where half the late model vehicles sold for less than 20,000 in 2019. In 2023, that share is 10%. The third largest decline occurred in the San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose area of California, where share fell from 51% in 2019 to 10% in 2023. Now for an update on our car buyer assisted purchasing process. Unfortunately, the hurricane that just hit Florida put a temporary hold on our car buying process down there. We've spoken to friends on the ground. It appears that the floodwaters are already starting to recede, so hopefully it hasn't hurt us for too long. For those of you who are looking for car buying assistance, make sure you see our show from the other day titled 
Strategic Maneuvers for Car Buyers in Today's Car Market. It's a must see. See this video first, then text us to ask for car buying help. Text to 701-441-3399. If you say in your text that you saw the video I just referred to and you get it, we're inclined to help you faster. As we shared the other day, buyers are getting better deals with our help than they could on their own. That's essential to know. Your total out-of-pocket will be less. Also, we recently identified one of the problematic obstacles in our car buying process and removed the person, so look forward to things happening much faster from here on out. We are no longer bound by foolish, self-imposed delays, and we can help you just as quickly as we can bring better dealers on board with us in a variety of states. Friends, we are honored and overjoyed to be working with so many of you on an individual basis and a little heads up on something. If your first call for car buying help doesn't come directly from Kevin or me, just hang up. Our problem person may try to contact you behind our backs and you shouldn't stand for that nonsense for a moment. Sadly, friends, as much as you try, you can't completely avoid bad apples now and then in life. But to make a long story short, that chapter and that individual is now behind us. Expect the first call directly from me or Liz, okay? And that's our show for today, friends. We hope you got great value out of this, and we hope we inspired you to continue being patient and wait for us to get to you. We'll continue to connect you anxious buyers out there with better dealers. And as I said recently, we now also have used cars as an option, and it's quickly expanding to being much more than just Florida. Almost never can anyone else beat the price we can help you get, so keep that in mind. For those of you just entering the car market, you should start at our website with all the free resources we have for you at thehomeworkguy.com. By the way, if you feel so inclined to show us some appreciation with a donation, forget about doing tips anymore. Seriously, we remove those links from the description box. We much prefer that you donate to help our nonprofit that's set up to help children. An online option has been set up for Give, Send, Go, and all credit cards or bank cards are currently accepted. The link is on the screen and can be found in the description box down below. On our website, thehomeworkguy.com, you'll find a free car buyer's guide there and free email templates to use with car dealers. There's also a list of fake fees. It's all there on the homeworkguy.com free for you to download to use when car shopping. On our website and on our Facebook page is where we'll announce the launch of a call center we mentioned the other day. I'm totally looking forward to that. We're also excited to say that we'll be launching the opportunity for memberships here on YouTube. The memberships will allow for much improved access to both me and Kevin, and we really do enjoy direct contact with our viewers. More on that soon. And Kevin, you should also remind people that we are in the process of writing a book for car buyers with the help of a new staff member, and it will be published first as an ebook. That's right. It will be the best car buyer's manual ever published, and we're getting the direct involvement of a man who has spent the last decade working directly with dealers and knows their business model inside and out. Even more importantly, he knows exactly where the car market is right now and has useful tools you can use to win on your next car deal. As you can see, there is high value to hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Subscribing is free and painless to you, but it sure helps us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did here for you today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And if you just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of you longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal, the Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.